Welcome everybody to the Bull vs. Bison Battles. First up we have the Bison in here with an attack. Dog, he's on the attack here. Pushing the Bison back towards the wall. But this Bison has a huge head. He's got little horns and he knows how to use it. He sends the attack dog back almost all the way back to that explosive barrel. But now the dog is taken down before he can reach that and blow up. No, we don't have a hot dog in the battle arena this time. Lucky for the dog. You know what? Actually, you know, he's dead anyway. So it wouldn't even matter if he was set on fire. Now we have the bull in here with two horns. This dude is really, uh, really he packs a punch. He's really big. And there you go. He sent the dog flying. He was almost going to land on my head there. Had to throw my fist out and connect almost with this dog here. I think I got a little piece of him, but he was already dead by the time he hit the ground. Now we have the bison back in here. We're going to see which one, uh, you know, uh, takes down these attack dogs faster. So, so far we had two quick ones from both the bison and the bull. Let's, oh no, he almost ran right into that explosive barrel. He's trying to bust his big old head through the wall there. But this attack dog is not going to let him get away without a fight. It looks like the bison is now moving away from the wall, trying to push this attack dog back. He's really yapping. There he goes. He brings his head, the bison does, into the attack dog and takes him down. That one took a little while. The bison decided to escape. You know what we're going to do? We're going to see who has more of the uh, attack capability is it uh, better on the bull side is it better on the bison side we're going to find out and then there's some defensive trials and tribulations that they have to go through as well coming up later but as you can see here their attack ability against this little dog is pretty good they can really get them up underneath there and send them flying I almost had to catch that one with my fist as well but, I, you know, I'm getting agile out here. I can move to the side and avoid that flying dog there landing on my head. It's raining cats. It's raining dogs. Today, it's definitely raining dogs. And there was a bank shot. This bison sent the attack dog off the backboard there. Once again, almost connected with the explosive barrel. Now, the bull is back in here. That was a quick one for the bison. Let's see if the bull can get a quick one as well. Yeah, I've seen these bulls send them out of the park over the wall. Let's see if they can get one for the, the bulls here. Maybe a out the park home run. There he goes. All right, that was, oh man, that looked like it hurt right there. Poor little dog is taken down here by the bull. Really caught that horn up underneath and was just, you know, uh, dead before he even hit the ground, I think. Now we're going to check out their defensive capabilities. Both of the bull and the bison are in the same battle arena with the big old Yeti here. He's throwing punches. He's ground pounding. This Yeti is trying everything. And these uh, these animals here, they're big, but they, they can get a move on when they want to as well. So, oh no, we have both of them in the corner of death here. The bison is able to get away. The Yeti's chasing them though. Maybe he'll grab him by that little tail and hold him back here. He could get him by the tail, use his other fist to really uh, pound at him. As he does here in the corner, he takes down the bison first. So best of three rounds, we're going to see who can survive longer. This round goes to the bull, but we're going to play it out here and see how long this bull can survive total. And uh, this Yeti is doing a great job here to take down these guys. This bull needs to use his horns that... Bison needs to use his little horns and that big old head as well. I think, you know, the bison's got a bigger head than the bull, but the bull's got bigger horns than the bison. So they can really use both of those to their advantage. And let's see what happens in round two. Can the bull get another win to really, uh, you know, clinch the best of three? Or will the bison even up the score? Let's find out. Swing and a miss there by the Yeti. Looks like he's going to connect. Looks like he connected maybe both of them right there. He's really almost getting two for one here in the battle arena. And now the ground pound takes down the bull. That means the bison has taken round two. Can he keep it going? All right. Well, the uh, bison was taken down. And so that's going to lead us to round three. Now, before we get to round three, I want you guys 
to start thinking about who lasted longer in them first attack rounds. Did the bison outlast the bull? Did the bull outlast the bison fighting against the attack dogs? So right now it's Ty in the defensive department. This round is going to decide who has better defense in the battle arena today. Is it the bison or the bull? It all comes down to this round. We got fists connecting with heads out here. And uh, it's not looking pretty for these guys in the battle arena. Uh, let's see here. They're moving kind of slow and the bull is taken down. That means the bison has a better defense. Like I said, I think it's that big old head. He can really take a punch there. Now, them horns are better maybe for attacking. But I do think that the uh, the bull, you know, he, he took down the attack dogs faster. And that means, you know, the attack capability is on the bull side. And the defensive capabilities are more so on the bison side. And look at that. Look at the replays. We just have a lot of action out here in the Battle Arena today. We have dogs flying just all over the place. That was a long shot there. I think that was probably the farthest one we had flying there. This one, uh, I almost had to catch him there. And uh, I think I caught him with my fist. Now, that was also... this. I'm telling you, you know, the bull maybe took him down a little bit quicker, but the bison really sent him flying, as did the bull in this particular round there. But uh, this one was impressive here. A bank shot off the wall. That uh, that poor dog there, man. These attack dogs. Was, it's a good thing we had a bunch of them out here because they were just dropping left and right. But, uh, you know, we... Uh, we uh, had a uh, Yeti in here as well, and he started dropping the bulls. He started dropping the bisons as well. And so uh, there you have it, guys. Uh, the uh, the bison, as you can see here, took uh, a lot of shots from the Yeti, but was able to survive a bit longer than the bull. So, uh, anywho, it was close in the other round, the earlier rounds. The, uh, the bison was really, uh, almost took down. The attack dog was almost as quick as the bull. It was, it was close, you know. I, when, once I had it, all of the times up there, it was a difference of about, I can't shoot, I can't remember, about 20 seconds or something like that. So it was pretty close, but anywho. Uh, you know, maybe uh, things will be different next time. Until then, this has been Rusty Fluger. Rusty Fluger, over and out.